minister to us this morning just before we begin to give thanks family by family we are going to hear the word and we are calling on Pastor Oliver Copeland to minister to us this morning God bless you God bless you your goodness, Lord God. We thank you for your mercies, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your hand, Lord God, upon our lives, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you've never failed us, Lord God. We may have let you down, Lord God, but you've never let us down, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you never give up on us, Lord God. When we give up on ourselves, Lord God, you never give up on us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, Lord God. We thank you for your mercies, Lord God, your faithfulness, Lord God, and your loving kindness, Lord God. For they are new, Lord God, every morning, Lord God. You hold, Lord God, no record, Lord God, of any wrong, Lord God, towards us, Lord God. You have washed us, Lord God, as white as snow, Lord God. Oh, we are clean, Lord God. Even though, Lord God, we stand before you, Lord God, like filthy rags, Lord God. You have made us clean, Lord God. You have put, Lord God, a robe around us, a robe of righteousness around us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for dying upon the cross for us. We thank you, Jesus Christ, for dying upon the cross. We thank you for shedding your blood. We thank you, Lord God. We give you praise, we give you glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. So I want to thank Daddy for this opportunity. Amen. And I greet all of you in the name of the Lord. Amen. I thank Mommy, you know, for this opportunity. You know, and Pastor Marie, uh, Minister, or Pastor Marta, you know, Pastor Augusta, amen. amen. All the worship team, thank you. Amen. The technical team, thank you. Amen. And most of all, my wife, thank you. Amen. Amen. Because the time just goes straight to the word. Amen. We're talking about the goodness of God. Amen. Why is God so good to us? Why is he so good to us? You know, you know, we sing that song at like the goodness of God. Yeah. No, but sometimes we sing it without even knowing what we are singing. You know, without even realizing what we are singing. Sometimes we don't realize how good God has been to us. You no, know, we think that we're here because of ourselves, but in reality, we're here because of God. You know, because God has been good. God is good. But what does it mean that God is good? He is good all the time. All the time. Amen. Amen. God, the Bible repeatedly presents the goodness and the core qualities of our Lord. Now, when we read through the Bible, we see the goodness of God in the Bible. You know, we receive God's goodness. You know, everywhere when we go from Genesis all the way to Revelations, we see God's goodness and God's mercy. No, I used to always think the Old Testament was like a book where God just slaughtered everybody and but when you sit back and read it and go through it, you will see God's goodness in the Old Testament. You will see Jesus in the Old Testament because he was there from the beginning of time. Amen. Exodus um, 34 verse 6. Exodus 34, verse 6. Exodus 34, verse 6, it says, And the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abounding in goodness, and truth. You know, we see this in the Old Testament. It says, The Lord God 
is merciful, is mercy. No, God shows mercy. You know, I was looking like, the, like about mercy and it says mercy is full of compassion. You know, it's forbearance shown towards the offender and an enemy. No, we were once enemies of God. No, but God showed loads of compassion. He shows loads of compassion. He's kind. God is kind. Even though we were enemies of God, he was still kind. Forbearance. You know, he put up for us. You know, he put up for us. You know, even though even though we mess up so much, he still puts up for us. That's what mercy is. You know, mercy. He shows, it says that he's gracious. You know, pleasantly gracious, pleasantly kind, courteous. You know, he's pleasantly kind. You know, he's kind to us. You know, God's goodness is kind to us. And then he says that it's long-suffering. You know, God is long-suffering like he's patient. He endures with us. You know, he endures with us. And God is good. God is good. You know, and then God is full of truth. You know, God is full of truth. You now it says there, he's goodness and truth. You now God will never lie to us. Yeah. He will never, ever lie to us. When God says he loves us, he loves us. It's not a lie. Though know, when we hear about it, oh, God doesn't love me. Now, that's from the enemy. No, it's from the enemy. God loves us, you know. God will always tell us the truth. You know, he will always tell us the truth. You no, know, that's what's so good about God. You no, know, his love is so amazing towards us. You know, amen. First Chronicles chapter 16, and verse 34. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. You know, his mercy endures forever. God is good. Give thanks today. We want to give thanks to him for how good he's been to us. The mercy that he's shown towards us. You know, and Ezra 3.11 is talking about dancing. You know, Ezra 3.11. It says, and they sang repeatedly, praising and giving and giving thanks to the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endures forever towards Israel. Then all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. You know, like when we give thanks to God, like some things causes us to dance. You know, because of what God has done, it causes us to dance. No, it causes us to shout of his mercies. You know, it causes us to shout like some people like when they're so grateful to God, they cry tears of joy. Yeah. No, they're not sad tears, they're tears of joy because they know how merciful God has been to them. Yes. You know, I like like as you know in my life, I've been so God has shown me so much mercy. You know, Psalms twenty five, verse eight. Psalms 25, 8, it says, Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners their way. You know, God teaches us his way. We are sinners, you know, because we are you know, we're born into sin. We're sinners, but God teaches us his way. He teaches us how to live a proper life. Amen. Psalms 143, verse 10, it says it's about the same thing. Psalms 143, verse 10. It says, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of upright, of uprighteousness. No, we ask God to teach us his ways. He teaches his ways, but we have to ask him. He says, Teach me your will. No, go to God. Now, if you want to know the will of God for your life, go to him. You know, go to him. No, because it says, for you are my God. He's our God. Now, all we do is go to him. Like that, sometimes we forget. We don't go to him. 
we go through things in life or struggling or might be getting stressed out and everything we f- where we forget just to go to God you know we might be stuck in like stuck in a spot where we can't go back we can't go forward because we don't know what to do no go to God we go to God and he would teach us he says teach me your will for you are my God he's our God isn't he no and he will lead us you know, amen. amen. Psalms 23, verse 6. I just wrote here just before that. And just God never makes mistakes because he does things the right way. I mean, you're not a mistake. We're not a mistake. God, and God was great in us, he didn't make a mistake. No, he didn't make a mistake. He created us, you know, you're not a mistake, I'm not a mistake, none of us are a mistake. You know, he would, he would, do, he would teach us the right way. Amen. And, and verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We claim these words. You know, the Bible says goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. No, claim it. We claim these words like how good God has been. Like his goodness will follow us. The goodness of God will follow us all our life. He is good. Amen. God's mercy, Psalms 145 and verse 9. It says, the Lord is good to all. He's good to all. He's good to everybody. Not just those as he's, as he's, as we follow him. He's good to everybody. You know? And his tender mercies are over all his works. You know? His tender mercies are over all his works. You know? His tender mercies is over us. You know? His tender mercies is over us. You know? He's watching over us. He's good to us. You know? God is not only good to us, but to everybody. You know? And no one is good but God. And you can, you can find that in Mark 10, verse 18. We'll go to um, James chapter 1, verse 17. James 1, 17. It says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom there is no um, very like, variation or shadow of turning. Amen. Now everything good comes from God. Now everything is every good gift you now comes from God. Now everything good that's in our life has come from God. Now everything good in our life has come from God. You know, it says God gives God gives good gifts to his children. You know, every everything that comes from God is good. You know, God looks after us. You know, He looks after us. You know, like those that are parents, we don't give our like our children bad stuff. You know, we don't put them in, in, in the down the wrong direction. You no, know, uh, but we put them in the right direction. Amen. Matthew seven verse eleven. says, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? You know, all we have to do is ask. You know, ask. You know, all we have to do is ask him. You know, and that's something that we don't do sometimes. We want something, but we don't ask. We don't go to our Father and ask Him. No, we don't go in prayer and ask Him. If we're struggling with something in our life, where there's sin, whether, like whatever it is we're struggling with, we go to God for it. We go to everybody else but God. You know, go to God. You know, because everything good comes from Him. It says, you know, and all we have to do is ask. You know, ask Him. You know, this is talking about like, um, par- like, like parents that, uh, uh, about giving, would you give your your child a snake? <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't. A child is asking for bread. We go now and give him a snake. 
No. A good parent will not do that. It's the same with God. If we go and ask God for bread, he's not going to give us something bad. No, he's going to give us something good. You know? Now, and, and there's some things that we might need to remove from our lives to receive that blessing. You know, there's some things that we might need to remove. Self, you know. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to read Psalms 27 and verse 4 to 10. I will just read verse 1 to 10, Psalms 27. It's going to read it from the King James Version. Psalms 27, verse 1 to 10 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat to eat up my flesh, they shall stumble and fall. Though though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I become confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that 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 will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. And verse 5, for, the time of, for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, my, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. And the verse then says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Amen. He will take care of us. God will take Even though our parents might let us down, God will never let us down. He will never. He will protect us. Yes. You know, he will protect us. You know, even when our enemies come at us, he will protect us. He will hide us. No, he will hide us. Like when we go through things in life, you know, he will carry us through what we're going through. He will carry us through it. Like he is not the footprints prayer. You know, but it's true footprints and then the man is going through trouble and there's one set of footprints and he asks God why. And God says, They are my footprints you're seeing. I'm carrying you through this. Sometimes we might feel that God has left us when he asked. He's carrying us through what we're going through. You know, he carried me through what I went through. And he took me to the, brought me out, not to where I am today. And he's doing a better work in my life. Amen. Psalms 145 and 5 to 7. Meditate on the goodness of God. Amen. Psalms 145 and 5 to 7. It says, I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome, awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. Amen. Amen. You know, what we're Whatever we go through, 
when we come out of it, it goes to the glory and the goodness of God. You know, you know, when we meditate on how good God has been to us, even when we're going through something, look back in your life and you will see how good God has been, what God has took you through. Will he not take you through now what you're going through right now? Of course he will. You know, it's not. He, he took you through all that before. This is anything now that you might be going through. He will take you through it. No, because he's a good God. All we have to do is trust him. You know, trust him. Um, Psalms 33 verse 5 it says, The earth is full of the goodness of God. And then 33 verse 6. Um, Psalms 33 verse 5 says, He loves righteous justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Now, when we just look out there, like if you're walking, you're, you're walking and you look at everything, you will see the creation that God has created. You know, the goodness, the goodness of God. Don't look at the buildings, look at what God, look at the flowers, look at everything, and you will see God's goodness. You know, you will see everywhere we go. Everywhere we go is the goodness of God. You know, the goodness of God. Like me, like there's some parts of Ireland you go to, and the place is so beautiful. The place is so beautiful. Like there's waterfalls in some parts of Ireland where, like, the beauty of those waterfalls, like, you, you'll be shocked that they're in Ireland, but they're the beauty. Not the beauty when a hot man, it's a hot summer day, and you will see the beauty of the land. It's all what God has created. You know, you know, and you, like when you look at animals and all that, this is what God has created. You know, Psalms one, Psalms thirty four verse eight. He talks about taste and see that God is good. Psalms thirty four verse eight it says, "Oh, taste and see." that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. So, taste the goodness of God. Taste the goodness of God. You know, God has been so good. You know, he's been so good. You know, and in Psalms 145, and in Psalms 107, 8 to 9, you know, like I won't go through them because of time. You know, it says, be thankful every day of our life. We are to be thankful every day of our life for what God has done. Amen. Psalms 103, verse 13 to 14. Psalms 103, 13 to 14. Psalms 103 it says, As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. Verse 14 says, For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. You know, the things that we do in life you know that sometimes we can test God. You know, sometimes we can put God to the test. There's some things that we do, you know, but God shows pity. He shows pity. No, because he remembers that we're just from dust. You know, he knows our frame. You know, there's some things that we do that if God now was to react the way he should react, we wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today. No, there's some things that we've done where God says, oh, what would I do with this child? You know, what would I do? There's some things that you cause God to, you know, but what does he say? He says he shows pity. Now, does this mean we continue to do what we're doing? No, 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 no. As the Bible also tells us that he will hand us over to that sin. He will hand us over to that sin for a season. You know, he will hand us over to that sin, and then we're wondering why things are in chaos, you know, in our lives. It's because now God has handed us over to that sin. You know, he's handed us over to, over to the enemy. But 
even though he does that, he still shows pity. Because he could just end our life like that. No, he's the one that controls the, the air that we're breathing. He's the one that controls our heart. You know, he's the one that controls everything, but he pities us because he remembers that we are dust. No, that's why we have to be thankful of that pity that he shows us. We have to be thankful. That's goodness. That's a, power, a form of his goodness, of that pity that he shows us. How good he is. He doesn't deal with us the way he should deal with us, but it's because of his goodness he does it. Now, sometimes we're our own worst enemy, that we beat ourselves, even though God has forgiven us and the sin is forgiven, the sin is removed. But well, sometimes we are, we are our own worst enemy. We end up beating ourselves too much. No, because it's your forgiven son, your forgiven daughter. Move on now with your life. You know? Amen. 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 So, coming in to close, you know, I just written down, like, what it starts off, where, where God is good. One thing where he's good in, is in his mercy. You know, he shows us mercy. Well, the mercy that he's shown towards us is because of his goodness. You know, it's because of his goodness. You know, it's because he's so good. He does it because he wants to. No, he does it because he shows us mercy because he wants to show us mercy. You know, he's great number two. He's gracious. Like start from where, like from where we're right from at the start. He's gracious. No, he showed us grace. So much grace. He showed me so much grace. You know, he's gracious. He's long, number three, he's long suffering. No, he puts up with us. He puts up with us. Even when he says, ah, this child, like I says, ah, this child, I should. You know, but he doesn't. He's long suffering. No, what God puts up, no, he puts up with no human being will put up with. No, what he puts up with, no human being will put up with. No, but that's the goodness of God. He's long suffering. Number four, God is good. He's good. Simply, he's good. He's a good God. And he's full of truth. Number five, the final one is that he's full of truth. You know, he's truth. God would never lie to us. No, if you want that one friend or that one person to trust that will never lie to you, God is that person. Man will lie to us. Even our own best friends will lie to us because we're human. We're human. No, it's the human side of us. But God never lies. And he tells us the truth. Even if it hurts, he tells us the truth. No, he will not lie. He will not say, oh, I accept that sin. No. We tell you the truth, no, that sin is wrong. You know, he tells the truth. You know, but that's the goodness of God. You know, amen. As we rise, just to give God thanks and thanks and prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for your goodness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercies, Lord God. For they are new every morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the mercy, Lord God, that you show towards us, Lord God. We thank you that you have been so merciful, Lord God, towards us, Lord God. Even when we, when we don't deserve it, Lord God, you show mercy, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for being gracious towards us, Lord God. For the grace, Lord God, that you show us, Lord God. We are so thankful, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for being long-suffering, Lord God, towards us, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, that you pull up, Lord God, where everything, Lord God, that we put you through, Lord God, you pull up with it, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for your love, Lord God, and your long-suffering towards us, Lord God. Father, we thank you for your goodness, Lord God, for being so good to us, Lord God. Things, Lord God, that we don't deserve, Lord God. You give us, Lord God, because of your goodness towards us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for your truth, Lord God. That you've been truthful towards us, Lord God. That you tell us the truth, Lord God. Even though it may hurt, Lord God. You tell us the truth, Lord God. That you don't lie to us, Lord God. That your truth, Lord God, 
choices, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you for your grace, Lord God. We thank you for your goodness, Lord God. You've been good to us, Lord God. Throughout, Lord God, our whole life, Lord God, you've been good, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Father, we give you thanks, Lord God. We give you all the glory, Lord God. We give you all the praise, Lord God. We give you all the thanks, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.